Golf has been gaining more popularity around the world and has become undoubtedly one of the most respectable sports with a ton of history. When it comes to golf courses, there are some that will simply take your breath away and need to be on your bucket list. Today, we'll look at the top nine best golf courses in the world. Not only will these spark your wanderlust, but will leave you dreaming of some of the most unique golfing experiences. At number nine, we have Valderrama Golf Club. Valderrama Golf Golf Club, located in San Roque, southern Spain, is one of the best known golf clubs in the world, best known as the site of Spanish Masters and the 1997 Ryder Cup. Valderrama was designed by the mastermind architect Robert Trent Jones. With no hole less than of a championship quality, the course was established in 1974 as Soto Grande News, but renamed to Las Aves in 1981. In 1984, it was acquired by Jamie Oritz Patino. At this point, it was redesignated, expanded, and renamed to Valderrama. A little over a decade later, the club became the top rated course in mainland Europe. The winding fairways of the course are surrounded at every bend by thick olive trees, which lead to small putting surfaces shielded by bunkers. Valderrama also includes one of the most controversial holes, the par 5 17th hole, safeguarded by water. In front of the green course is a 6,951 yard par 71 18 hole course. Have you had the chance to play at this stunning beauty? Next at number 8, the Majlis Course, Emirates Golf Club. A flagship course at the Emirates Golf Club, which was opened in 1988, it was a dead oasis in the desert and became the first grass golf course constructed in the Middle East. Now it poses in the midst of hundreds of lofty towers and thousands of hardwood and palm trees. The course was designed by Carl Litton, an American specializing in residential development methods in Florida. He designed the course so its original holes were built in and around the dunes on the edge of Dubai. The course itself is a challenging 7,301 yard par 72 course. The Majlis was donated by His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. On the instructions of His Highness, the desert aura is maintained in its natural form. The Majlis course course is recognized globally and offers a true test for even the world's best golfers. The course boasts hundreds of native species of fauna and flora and is wonderfully complemented by gorgeous fairways and freshwater lakes. Sitting at number 7, Tokyo Golf Club. The Tokyo Golf Club is a member's old club located in Sayama City, Saitama Prefecture. The location lies just over an hour outside of Tokyo City Center. Yunosuke Inui initiated the Tokyo Golf Club in 1913 and later became the club's vice president. Golf has been continuously played at the Tokyo Golf Club since 1953 and the course has hosted a total of seven Japan Opens, including four at its current location. The holes are memorable and the first hole is among the best in the world. The course sits on 6,915 yards and par 72. To play at this course, you need an invite, but if you do get lucky enough, don't hesitate to jump on the opportunity. And now at number 6, Royal Melbourne Golf Club. The Royal Melbourne Club was established in 1891 and has hosted numerous international tournaments since then. The club is the oldest and best golf course club in Australia. And among the top five in the world, it features two 18-hole golf courses that were designed by an American golf architect named Dr. Alistair McKenzie. The course design is a tiny rendition of its surrounding topography and features deep bunkers and meandering green which creates a true challenge even for the world's best players. The Royal Melbourne is 6,598 yards long and a par 72 on the east, and 6,589 yards on the west. The east course is not as well known as its sister course, but nevertheless is held in high regard. The west course is globally renowned, but strictly landlocked by existing boundaries, which is why the holes have been unable to be extended recently. Both courses have been restored and slightly expanded in the past decade. The club boasts world-class facilities for golf and an excellent camaraderie and fellowship with guests. Overall, a must visit. Sitting at number 5, Royal County Down. Next we have one of the oldest Irish golf courses, the 100-year-old Royal County Down. It is located in the deep water of Newcastle City in Northern Ireland. The golf course was first innovated by a group of Belfast men and was designed by Tom 
Thomas Mitchell Morris, best known as Old Tom Morris, in 1889. In 1908, the golf course was given royal patronage by King Edward VII. The course sits on 6,969 yards with a par 72. It has deep bunkers with the fierce wind adding a challenging dimension to the game. The course is famously known for its two 18-hole golf courses and holds two of the most spectacular photographic holes in golfing history, particularly because of its naturally beautiful link setting in the Merlot Nature Reserve. To no surprise, the club has hosted numerous tournaments, ranging from the British Amateur Cup, the Walker Cup, the Irish Open, the Curtis Cup, and many more. Now at number four, St. Andrew's Old Course. St. Andrew's Old Course, also known as the Grand Old Lady or the Old Lady, is located in Scotland. It is considered to be the oldest golf course in history. It's also well known across the world and has hosted more than 25 Open Championship tournaments. Located in Fife, Scotland, the motherland of golf, this iconic course's architectural design was inspired by Augusta National and was designed by Da Anderson and Old Tom Morris. The course was established in 1552 and is an absolute treat for the eye and for every golfer's heart. The stunning old course occupies 7,279 yards and is a par 72, delivering sufficient variety and technique to keep all levels of golfers entertained. The course initially had 22 holes, which were later reduced to 18 by combining some of them. Back when it had 22 holes, members of the club would play the same hole going out and in, except for the 11th and 22nd holes. Later, it was decided that the first four and last four holes were not long enough and would be combined into four holes. Have you had the chance to play at this course? At number three, we have Pebble Beach Golf Links. This visually incredible golf course is the number one golf course in America and widely known as one of the most scenic courses in the world. It's located on the west coast of the United States in Pebble Beach, California. The course was founded in 1919 and was designed by Jack Neville and Dougal Grant. The links at Pebble Beach are unique and throw challenges for both golfers and viewers alike. The course is home to 18 holes. Every golfer who wants to try their luck on these greens needs to practice before trying their strategy on its tricky holes. Pebble Beach sits on 7,080 yards and a par 72. With beautiful fairways that drive through the Pacific Ocean, it has hosted several tournaments from the Monterey Peninsula Open, the Bing Crosby National Pro-Am Tournament, the US Open six times, and a number of other high-profile championships. At number two, Augusta National Golf Club. This one has got to be on your list. The Augusta National Golf Club is one of the most prominent American golf golf courses. It's not like most private clubs that work as nonprofits. Instead, it is a for-profit corporation that operates without disclosing its holdings, income, membership list, or sales. With a rich history, Augusta National is located in Georgia and offers a 7,270-yard, par 71, 18-hole course. The magnificent course was previously a nursery founded by Clifford Roberts and Bobby Jones and designed by Alistair McKenzie and Robert Trent Jones. Jones Jr. in 1932. The holes at Augusta National are all named after the trees, plants, and flowers beside them. When visiting Augusta, one finds it difficult to picture the Masters Tournament being hosted anywhere else. It has been hosting the Masters Tour since 1934. This is one of the most exclusive golf clubs in the world, so playing here would be difficult, but worry not. You can always experience it during the Masters. And now, at number one on our list, we have the Royal Dornado. Golf Club. This is the most attractive and engaging golf course on our list. Established in 1877, this is the third oldest golf course globally, located in Dornoch, Scotland. With its natural link and stunning coastal views, a journey to Royal Dornoch is guaranteed to be a true privilege for every golfer. The club was designed by the architect, Old Tom Norris, and was built to be 6,722 yards par 70, with two eight 18 hole courses, the Struwy course and the Championship course. The Royal Dornoch has a sort of timeless setting, which is what makes it such a wonderful place to play the game. It's wild, it's isolated, and it's incredibly beautiful. It definitely exceeds the expectations of every golfer who's lucky enough to visit and get a chance to play there. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Which of these courses have you played in, and which of them would you be most interested
interested to play in? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye.